Hello, Scorpio. Welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot, and this is going to be your monthly reading for August. Keep in mind, timing and energy is still fluid. This could play out at any point in time throughout the month of August. This message may or may not be for you. Uh, I got two cats fighting, so uh, there might be an unexpected cat fight over the month of August. Um, I do want to mention, Scorpio, I kept feeling a very strong, intense Leo energy um, tapping into the Scorpio Collective. And so you might have a prominent Leo placement somewhere in your natal chart. Maybe it's your moon sign. Maybe it's your rising. Maybe it's your north node. Something of those sort. Something of the sort. Um, but Leo energy was very prominent as I was preparing to sit down and uh, start your recording. Before jumping in with the cards, Scorpio, I do want to talk about what came through in meditation. And I do feel there's going to be some type of unexpected event or shakeup that is going to require um, some unplanned changes to be made. Scorpio, you are the sign of death, rebirth, and transformation. And so uh, you're, you're not new to this kind of energy. I do feel... There might be like a major turn down that will lead to some type of disappointment when it comes to love. But I just, I felt this emergent energy, like this emergency, emergency. And maybe that is even going to be like an emergency room visit. I got a very strong energy of beware of your heart health. And that was that Leo energy coming through meditation. And so I feel there might be some overwhelming stress playing out in the month of August, Scorpio. That's really going to push you in a completely new and different direction. And so be ready to experience some communication difficulties. We are going to have Mercury going retrograde. And I do feel this is really going to trigger you into doing some deep soul searching. And maybe this is going to come after some harsh, shocking words are exchanged, perhaps during the Mercury retrograde. But I do feel overall, Scorpio, there's there's some sort of some sort of like a cycle of frustration that will soon be behind you. So I feel this has been an ongoing issue for a while and something is going to like rear its head in the month of August, maybe surrounding the Lionsgate portal, but I feel you're finally going to be able to see the future in a better perspective. So I'm sure you can hear my peanut playing in the background. She's playing some Barbies, but let's jump in with the cards, Scorpio, and let's see what needs to come through for you. So I did choose my tea leaf oracle deck to start uh, today when it comes to August reading. So we're going to jump in with the tea leaf deck. We're going to see what messages need to come through uh, with this deck first. Messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. Um, and so the, the first card that came out is an older man. You could be this older man, or you could be dealing with an older man. It could be a father figure. It could be a grandfather figure. Maybe it's a boss of some sort, but there's definitely dealings with an older man or a relationship with an older man. Maybe it's just a, a friend, a friend at a distance. Uh, there's an older man thinking of you. I'm feeling a strong spirit guide vibe. Wow, they're flying out now, Scorpio. Ooh, older man, younger woman. You could be an older man dealing with a younger woman. I do feel um, maybe... This older man, though, could be a friend, and maybe you're going to be deepening a relationship with a friend that might be at a distance, um, and maybe this friend is helping you when it comes to dealings um, in a relationship with a younger woman. Um, we get a goal or hand in person, the target, and then we get the dagger. I do feel there's something about this, this uh, younger woman that is creating a lot of fear and worries. Surrounding a tense, unexpected situation here. And so I do feel um, the, the mark has been hit. You might need to reach out to a friend. And maybe this is a friend that you've been at an energetic distance with for quite some time. But I, I just feel some type of dealings with a younger woman is really creating a tense, unhealthy situation. And maybe this younger woman is the one that's going to push you in a new direction. We get the grasshopper on the bottom of the deck, Scorpio. And so there is a situation in the balance playing out in the month of August. 
And I do think you're going to really want to be careful when it comes to any business dealings or relationship handling in the month of August because you are about to step into a whole new experience. And so if you've been, you know, dealing with problems and challenges, I do feel you hold the key. So success is yours for the taking. You get to choose the outcome, but I do feel you're going to have to overcome some fears. Maybe this younger woman is, is going to be stabbing you in the back. But I just feel this energy of backstabbing. Now they're showing me the Ten of Swords. So let's jump in with the Spiritual Journey Oracle deck and we'll see what else needs to come through. Purge and cleanse. I feel somebody is leaving your life. I feel there is a person in your life, a younger woman, and I don't think she can stay in your life any longer. Scorpio, I do feel this younger woman uh, plays into your negative behaviors, creating a very negative circumstance that likely needs to be purged. And this might feel like a huge void. Maybe you're afraid to let this go because you're not quite sure what's on the other side, but things are definitely shifting below the surface. They're showing me the hanged man. And so you're about to see things in a whole new light. I do feel a complete and total perception shift of a current situation. And maybe this is after a conversation with an older man. Maybe it's your father. Maybe you're going to sit down with your father. I'm not sure. But let's uh, see what else needs to come through for you, Scorpio. Oh, three just popped out. I can't see them. So I'll have a look in a minute here. What else needs to come through for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. Dark night of the soul. There's that void energy. Bottom of the deck. This is about self-empowerment. We all have the choice to take ownership of what it is we've created in our life. So maybe there's been a lack of planning. And maybe there's fear surrounding executing a plan. But I do feel it's time to take a step forward. Even the tiniest of steps forward will feel like a leap when it comes to uh, going in the right direction. I do feel a reorientation. They're showing me the fool. Well, looky here, Scorpio. We got a karmic lesson coming full circle. So this could be surrounding the nodal shifts. Um, we did just have the north node move from Taurus into Aries. And so it is a focus on self coming up here. And so... I do feel there's some type of past life experience that needs resolution with this younger woman. And no matter how painful this karmic lesson is, I do feel there is an opportunity to turn it into growth. So I just feel get ready to face some challenges ahead in the month of August. I do feel you're being tested when it comes to your beliefs. Maybe you're shattering some programmed beliefs about relationships, even your relationship to yourself. I feel a lot of Virgo energy coming through, and so be careful of spending too much time up in your head. When we're in a state of mental clutter, it creates fogginess. It doesn't leave us very much room to receive any amount of clarity when it comes to a decision that needs to be made. I feel a decision is going to be made, an opportunity is going to be presented when it comes to a shift. So I do feel you are letting go of ineffective, outdated relationship beliefs, and no matter what this challenge entails, Scorpio, you are going to have to go into some self-care. And maybe this is going to trigger a very powerful, uncomfortable re-evaluation of your life. We do have a lot of retrograde energy playing out. We have Venus retrograde. We have Pluto retrograde. We have Saturn in retrograde. Neptune is in retrograde. And we're going to have... Mercury also stationing retrograde, and I also believe Jupiter will be retrograde by the end of the summer. That's a whole lot of back it up, back it up energy. And so I do feel a reevaluation of your life, maybe what your purpose is supposed to be this life, reevaluating your relationships, maybe with a father, maybe with an older man. But I do feel something is being unveiled when it comes to this younger woman that I feel uh, you do have worry about being stabbed in the back with and so you're learning to care and nurture for yourself just watch out for whatever is unhealthy in and around you because the, the energy is saying it's time to take charge of a situation it's time to empower yourself to release any victim mentality like this oh poor pitiful me 
You know, when we are in a state of unconsciously living our lives, that's when things kind of happen to us. When we consciously learn the lessons, that's when things kind of happen for us. So I do feel, get ready for some energy cords to be cut. I do feel a closing of a cycle. And so I do feel there is a very unhealthy relationship dynamic playing out here, Scorpio. And it does need to be released as part of your transformation and renewal. So I do feel you are watched over. You have crossed over loved ones. You have guardian angels that are, are encouraging you to move forward, to release the past, to move forward, and to know that you are never alone. Let's jump in with some tarot and let's see what else needs to come through for you, Scorpio. Oh my gosh. I feel an awakening. Likely going through a process of soul retrieval. Maybe this is going to be a very painful ending. Maybe it's going to activate a heart awakening, a heart opening of some sort. And I do feel it's going to be painful. I do feel with Saturn retrograde in the sign of Pisces and the South Node now in Libra, we're breaking free from whatever doesn't work. So either you're making a judgment call or somebody you're dealing with is making a judgment. But this is also the energy of karma, reaping what we sow. And so whether this is a distant heartbreak or a recent heartbreak, this is about healing from past pain. Maybe healing unhealthy, imbalanced relationship dynamics. But I feel Pluto retrograde in Capricorn is going to bring forward a process of deep soul retrieval, maybe even triggering some past life memories. It is the energy of awakening, and we will have Pluto stationing direct, I believe, either late December, early January. And so we're in a transformational period collectively. I do feel get ready to heal from some pain, from some heartbreak. So, and this might be from something from three years ago that maybe you've avoided. Maybe you've been with this younger woman for about three years. Um, something about a three-year cycle. Yeah. And I do think you're going to be all up in your feels. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Breaking free from programmed beliefs. So it's like you're in this incubated state. Going through um, this process of authenticity. I do feel get ready for the energy of like a bubble being burst. All right, Scorpio, let's jump in and see what other messages need to come through for you. Side note, <laughs> we had a card just flip out. We're going to do a nine card spread, but I'm going to talk about what just came out first. The four of pentacles. And we'll clarify that. So this is like the energy of Pandora's box has been opened. There's that Capricorn energy again. And the four of coins. So you have been withholding, maybe emotionally. Maybe there's been blocks emotionally. Maybe um, you're opening up the heart. And once you see this, you really can't unsee it, right? Um, I do feel maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn. Let's see what else needs to come through. The Seven of Wands. The Palace of Cups in reversed. The King of Coins. We have Leo energy. We have water. We have earth. The Ace of Swords, the Hermit, the Four of Wands, Aries Energy, Virgo Energy, the Six of Coins in Reversed, Page of Cups. This is like a brand new beginning in love. And then we got the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. So what I instantly see here is this is about commitment to self. I do feel a heart awakening. I do feel you're going to need to be grounded. I also feel this energy of you're on the guard, you're on the defense. I do feel you've had some blocks on the heart. Right below the seven of wands is the ace of wands. And so you do have a golden opportunity for a brand new passionate beginning. But I do feel you've got some obstacles and you've got some challenges uh, to face first. And it might require taking action, but I do feel like there has been blocks on the heart. And maybe this has been stuffed down and maybe it's been stuffed down due to work. Maybe you've been using work as a mask to not have to deal with some emotions. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, once again, maybe you're dealing with an earth sign. But I do feel a passionate new beginning here and a doorway opportunity is being presented for some type of twin flame union. 
to come through. Once again, Aries energy. It will require action. So dead central energy, Virgo. I do feel uh, this will be playing out throughout Virgo season. So although this is an August reading, this might not come full circle until September when we enter into Virgo season. Something here is not balanced. There's a lack of equality. There's a lack of reciprocation here. And maybe there's some childish behavior going on within, within a commitment, within a connection. I also feel this energy of holding back. Maybe all your focus has been on stability, money. Um, the king of coins, when his heart isn't in it, it's, it's just all about the money, honey, right? And so we're here to live a life of passion. I do feel you hold a lot of wisdom when it comes to learning this lesson. And when it comes to union, that is always first and foremost, union of self. And so maybe it's going to be time to go within and to shed some light on these negative vices. I feel some deep inner child healing taking place, healing from program beliefs. And maybe this is stemming around childhood. Maybe you were raised in a very religious home. Um, but I just feel this energy of praying and trusting and knowing that everything is going to be okay because the divine is kind of guiding you. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, the five of swords and the chariot with the lovers and the star reversed. And then we get the ace of cups. So this is an energy of releasing self-sabotaging behaviors. Aquarian energy and so I do feel there's been a lack of honesty. There's been a lack of truth. There's been a lack of healing This needing to you know win at all costs. I gotta be right. I'm not here. You know it, It's the energy of like I got to prove everybody right. You don't have to prove anybody right and so I just feel like moving on from self-sabotaging behaviors and I do feel it's going to take a lot of emotional strength is going to take a lot of strength to overcome some underlying emotions that I feel are boiling to the surface that have been repressed when it comes to a bad decision in lovers. The lovers reversed is basically the devil. So have you been dancing with the devil, Scorpio? Because I do feel there was like this energy of, you know, not making a very good judgment call. We saw that judgment card and... And I do feel there's like a lack of healing. There's a lack of wish fulfillment. There's blockages when it comes to being authentic in this connection. This is not what you asked for. This is not what you prayed for. And I do feel um, self-love is going to be the key here. Can you love yourself enough to recognize something here that is unhealthy in order to go towards a new passionate beginning? I do feel there's either going to be a confession or an admittance. Of some sort of betrayal. So there's that three of swords. So I do feel there's some sneaky behavior here. There could be some past lies that are coming to light. There could be a need to, you know, apologize for some past poor behavior. You decide. Um, but I do feel there was this energy of feeling stabbed in the back. Or maybe you're going to be feeling stabbed in the back. But when you dance with the devil... You're bound to feel caged in whatever it is that you've created. And so I do feel some sort of self-sabotage and behavior here. So let's clarify the Seven of Wands because I think get ready for a challenge. Get ready to be challenged. Get ready for a fight. Maybe with a Leo. Maybe with a Leo. Could be dealing with a Queen of Wands. Eight of Wands. The Emperor Reverse. I do feel get ready to be challenged. <laughs> Uh, maybe we've got a queen of wands taking action. I do feel an overwhelm. Something is feeling very overwhelmed here, uh, Scorpio. I do feel uh, get ready for a challenge. And this queen of wands, she's not backing down. She's coming at you like wildfire. There's going to be a lot of things happening very quickly. I feel there's going to be a lot of spiritual communication coming at you. Maybe a lot of downloads. And with this emperor reversed... I feel like uh, this is going to shatter somebody's ego, an ego death, because somebody's really not been doing the right thing. We could be talking about a father here, like I said, an older man, a father, but I do feel a re-examination, maybe of some childhood patterns. Maybe there's a queen of wands that is shedding some light on some toxic behavior, but I do feel 
an epiphany, an awakening, soul retrieval, spiritual activation, and a need to move on from something very unhealthy in order to embrace the healing journey. And so let's let's clarify this hermit because there's wisdom being gained when it comes to this lesson. Manipulation. This is like a pathological liar. This is also the, f the fear of shedding the old to bring in the new. Um, this is a shift in legacies is what I feel. And then we get uh, the chariot. So we get the magician reversed, the ten of coins in reversed, and the chariot moving on from a bad decision. Moving on from some old family beliefs. Um, this could even indicate total financial ruin, bankruptcy, and needing to go within and learn a lesson. We can't keep manipulating, right? When we're in a state of manipulation, you think of the magician, they're, they're fooling people. And so there's a lack of authenticity here. Yeah, there was a bad decision made when it comes to a lover. And so moving on from a bad decision and healing through process of self-love, I do feel maybe you're entering into the dark night of the soul. This is going to be a very uncomfortable evaluation of, you know, what is your worth? What is your value? Because we will be treated uh, by others based on how we treat ourselves. And so let's take a look at this six of coins in reverse because something here is not balanced at all whatsoever. The eight of swords in reverse. I have tingles all over my crown. We got the four of cups in reversed and the temperance and so i just get this energy of somebody wishes that they could go back to something from the past that maybe they walked away from an ex the queen of swords where maybe they didn't choose to invest in this connection interesting so there is a choice between two lovers here between a queen of wands and a queen of swords and so I do feel somebody wants to go back to something from the past that was walked away from. Maybe a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Queen of Swords, an ex, somebody that they were divorced from maybe. I'm praying for a reconciliation and a second chance. I hear you, babe. But I just feel there's, there's a need to get it together. There is definitely a need to get it together. I feel somebody's really lingered in a state of disempowerment over a missed opportunity from the past. And so there is an opportunity to maybe find a state of compromise. Um, I do feel almost like an earth angel trying to bring balance into a situation that was walked away from from the past. Let's see what this Pandora's box is all about. The Empress. Definitely could be dealing with uh, the mother of your children or um, you could be this mother. I'm not sure There's a mother involved or an empress involved and let's let's face it We don't come across an empress energy every single day, right? And when you come across an empress That's a pretty hard energy to forget, right? I do feel Maybe there's some regrets Over not choosing an empress in the past uh, and maybe this is the mother of your child. I'm not sure. Scorpio. I do feel there's been a there's been a process of disillusionment. Confusion. Maybe somebody had a couple of options. Maybe somebody cheated on this ex. Maybe somebody cheated on this empress and now they want to go back and face this empress. But I do feel ego's been a block. Somebody's been too prideful maybe to admit that it's time for this realignment. The two of coins. The two of swords reversed. So um, there's something being unblocked in the heart. I do feel somebody threw away a golden opportunity for wish fulfillment with an empress, which is leading to a huge loss, but maybe an opportunity to rebuild with a clean slate. There are a lot of memories here, but I feel don't deceive yourself over the memories. Maybe this is just an opportunity to reconcile some past differences, but I do feel an awakening when it comes to an imbalanced decision. And a need to go back and face somebody from the past because there's been a lack of healing. And maybe this will lead to a new cycle, a, a new, a new better future. And that's kind of what I got. So let's get you one last message from Spirit. Honor your vessel. 
honor your entire body, your being. So you are being asked to take better care of yourself. I don't think you have all of the information at this point in time. So that's what the hermit does. It goes within, it observes, it becomes patient. <clears throat> I do feel a need to get to know yourself in order to um, figure out where you've been depleted and dissatisfied in all areas of your life because you're definitely the student in this situation, Scorpio. And I do feel this is definitely a lesson around financial responsibility, financial resources. There is, there is a divine plan at work in whatever situation you're kind of entangled in. It is very unhealthy. And I do feel a need uh, to break free. And that's kind of what I got. So I hope this helps, Scorpio. I hope this resonated. If you would like to book a personal or a soulmate reading with me, I do encourage you to check out the description box below. And I do look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.